Today, I shall do something a bit different from the usual. You might want to hear this or not. Either way, I'm going to say what I have to say, so your opinion holds no merit today. This dick ain't free. You want to get with me because I'm the cutest nigga on the block? You want to get with me because I'm big and tall whenever I'm ready? And no, I'm not talking about the clothes. You want to get with me because I'm skilled with the poetry and the prose? You want to get with me because I'm not the average pretty boy who doesn't have any brains? You want to get with me because you think that I have a million dollars inside of my bank account? Well, it's a chain, baby. This dick ain't free. How I'm doing? Pretty well. How about you? Who don't like to drink? I mean, look, I'm not much of an alcoholic, but we can mask lunch since I have a drove. What did I think about the show? It was all right. Am I single? Like some premiums. I'm too far on the beat. Shit, you're right. Though I'm looking for something real. Do I want to fuck you? What? Stop playing, cause this dick ain't free. If you're planning on wasting my time, then make it worth my while. Because yes, ladies, I do know how to eat pussy. Get your beat box and give me away. Though it's for my source of pleasure and not necessarily yours, uh, he eat a pussy. It's an excellent source of protein. That's good. Wonderful, actually, because I need that for my body. If you're planning on wasting my time to make it work, why? Because, shit, hey, hey, what to do with your friend back there? Uh, I heard she wants a piece of me as well. Look, 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 look. Fuck it, right? Y'all both can have me if that's what y'all into. But just please, I have one request. Do not record me. This. Dick ain't free. Now, I'm getting tired of being so poor for you to know. Now, I'm getting tired of you smoking on my throw up. Now, I'm getting tired of you getting my pockets. Now, I'm getting tired of having these generic ass conversations with you. Now, I'm getting tired of you mentioning how single you are in front of your male friends you like to call them now. I'm getting tired of taking you out to that same generic ass restaurant where you get that same generic ass order of chicken and fries. Just like the last time, and the time before that, and the time before that, and the time before that. Now, I'm getting tired of supporting your Polish ways because beyond this dick ain't free. Turning they say is in the pudding. 
While I scream like I'm Rick Ross, Mr. the rain is on fire. I feel your lungs and so full, making sure you had trouble breathing. While I drown some hard passes, the reason. Wake up, America, good evening. I take my place, rose to the plate. Hungry and I barely even ate. I ain't talking sustenance after you crap. Rappers last substance, so much confidence. Oh, I'm loving it. It's looking like I always had it. Tricks up for kids, hoes running rabbit, getting rabbit. This ain't no parody, I'm not capping Not by your computer, oh, I can fit it Satisfy the realist, I don't have a limit Make a budget, also watch the spending Green grows like a spinach, first to finish I'm up now, next skin forever Whether you like it or not, ain't going anywhere So get used to it, I know you can't be me Bit, but it's me, but it's me, but it's me, Mr. Raymond. Man, I'm gonna be famous. Who's the next mixtape that sounds like an album dropping? Wait for 21, I'll be there with something. I ain't spinning for nothing. Open the floodgates and I'll run through them. Max capacity, now I rule you. Just don't wanna hear the truth. Who got you? Jamie Boomer, growing up, I'm most successful with you. That's strong. Yeah, you can go ahead. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna get something on my phone. Oh shit. I'm gonna get the big one. Oh shit. Oh shit. These niggas need to learn how to read. That's a new one, Chad. I came out with this one two years ago. You know, you know how to read. It's not just reading, it's reading and comprehension. Reading and comprehension. This specifically. I wrote this during like you know the pandemic, you know what I'm saying? Wow. I had a lot of time on my hands, so I was like, alright, you know what? Just, you know, I got it. But yeah, I got this one for twenty dollars right now. It's the only copy I got on me like right now. I got it. I'm working on getting small so I got that with me. I got small for us ten. Um yeah, yeah, like I said, yeah, reading is a big thing. Mm -hmm. But especially in this age of the internet, I think people really forgot what comprehension is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Word. I'll be looking on social media. Think like that. Really hard to come across a coherent sentence. Yeah. <laughs> you went to school, right? <laughs> you finished, right? <laughs> 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 but if y'all like anything I'm doing right here, y'all got a feeling it. You know, I don't know if I'm going to stop driving out some of you all platforms. Got a lot to choose from. I'd rather have those problems than not have them issues. Word. You know what I mean? You want us to scream out a number? It's a lot of numbers. <laughs> it's a lot of numbers. <laughs> pick a number one through ten. I mean, pick another. Pick, how many pages is that? No, no. That's, that's, that's two. <laughs> so, what are you looking at about four and four? So, alright, so, so, so you think of a number, <laughs> and then we just all go pick a number or whatever close to it. That's what you gotta read. Actually, I, I think I like this poem right here. Right, right, right. There we go. Let's do it. It's called My Mother Was the First Woman to Break My Heart. Oh, oh. So Especially with us and men, you know, a lot of us, we become guarded to our love and relationships. And that all starts in the home. Mm -hmm. like, Facts. For me, for me, I felt like, you know what I mean, I had that happen to me earlier. Yeah. Wow. You know, so this is what this poem is going to get my mother was the first woman to break my heart whenever she told me that I couldn't get anything from McDonald's because there was food in the house. Mm. My mother was the first woman to break my heart whenever she took my Game Boy away because I bought it to school. I wasn't the only kid who did. I only played the stripper at lunchtime. I wasn't doing class. My mother was the first woman to break my heart whenever she said I couldn't go outside and ride my scooter or my bike because I never finished my homework. Even when it was finally done, I still had to sit in the house and do chores all day long. My mother was the first woman to break my heart whenever she called me spiteful names when she was angry. As a child, I thought that was normal, but it isn't since it's a problem that persists to this day. Mm. My mother was the first woman to break my heart when she started smoking cigarettes. 
Mm -hmm. I was the victim of her cravings whenever she began having nicotine attacks. All the time she tried to fight me and put me out the house because I said no, I wasn't going to the store to get any. Mm -hmm. My mother was the first woman to break my heart whenever she told me to give up and write. And I was better all working out that ex instead. When I was about to go to Houston and slam poetry, she tried to stop me from doing so. My mother was the first woman to break my heart once marriage entered the equation. But she chose that nigga over me. Wow. My mother was the first woman to break my heart. Every heartbreak from the women who weren't my mother, they only amplified the effect. Or maybe it reminded me of how my mother would break my heart. But I knew she did it so I could do what I do today. And that's be up here on the stage. My mother was the first woman. Wow. Yeah, one more. Yeah. 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 Just pick a number, 25. I call this one. I call this one I try. Mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of fast story when I was writing it. Like, I, I'm at, like, honestly, me personally, I'm not really political. I don't feel about none of that crap. It's all rigged. But, like, on a more, like, local level, like, I sat down one day thinking hypothetically. What if I became the mayor of New Jersey? Mm. What would I actually do? Mm -hmm. This is how this poem came about. March in the name of all your ancestors who perished inequitably, whether it be by slavery or segregation. I mean, it ain't really a difference to me. See, I am part of a dying breed, where it seems in the mainstream, our existence as the chosen people have been reduced to hoeing, pimping, drug dealing, gang banging, substance abusing, bottom feeding, scavenging, a far cry from the palaces we built and lived in, in tune with the mother and environment, access to spiritual codes no one else possessed. You still have those scientists and architects that cannot figure out, even to this day, how those pyramids were built. We've come into an era where the chosen people have been negated of that. With it down to our lowest state, held captive on a land stolen from our ancestors, sold off our likenesses because we were illiterate to the farm plant. Black and African Americans? That shit makes no fucking sense. I smell bullshit. Mm. Mm. My brothers and sisters, I have been part of this community ever since I was born into it. I had it rough in school. Since I was so intelligent and the other kids weren't, they berated me for my gifts. So I grew to resent myself and my capabilities. But I had an epiphany. So I went off for a few years, published many books, overcame my fear of public speech, started to use my words for good. Some might call it preaching. Earned respect from all the idols that I looked up to, turned every single non-believer into one. I shouted my story from the mountaintops. Since in the past, I ain't had a luxury to be inside of a forest, so I just climbed to the roof any apartment complex I could find in the sight of my glory. Now how's that for the kid who said was retarded? I could have been dead. I could have been in prison. I could have been in the mental ward. I could have had all these children by a bunch of women. I wasn't even wed, to be honest. I could be drinking my food through it too. But no, I stand before you, mighty, ready to express my truth, my people. As I stand on the steps of York City Hall once again, I, savage writer, am proud to announce that I will be running for mayor of North New Spain. As I rise from the ground, channeling the disbelief. Shock, betrayal, utter disgust, filling my soul as I cross over. I can't believe it. Gun down in my own home, in front of my loved ones, my 
band, my mentors, everyone who ever crossed paths with me, witnessed me become devoured by the same community that I came back and saved. All this hatred that's inside of me, I'm now unleashing. Someone has to pay. What were you going to gain from claiming my life? Never would I have thought that I'd fall victim to the strife. Run down schools, syringe littered parks, crumbling housing complexes, underfunded hospitals, reckless gangsters. They were even slaughtering infants out there. Young men forced to be the head of the household at 11 because daddy's in jail and mom's too doped up to chef him up a meal. Young women become parents at 16. She told old boy, don't worry, it's my birthday, sweetie. You ain't gotta be gloved up. People coming and going, half of them not even 30 years old, let alone 18, welfare money, food stamps, those stimulus checks, they gone, bro. No more PPE. Moms, you have mouths to feed. Strange things for a piece of change, damn. Is that what she into now, man? Lack of jobs, that bus money running low. Either I hop on a bus to get to work, or we're starving to death to buy me some dinner and be fired. Now I can't pay the fucking rent. You could have given me a chance to rescue you from the struggle. You could have given me a chance to lead, elevate, inspire. But nah, you fucking who will shot me? I repeat, you and your entire race. But savage, that ain't Christ like a you motherfucker. Do I look like Christ to you? Mm -hmm. All of you will suffer for what you did to me. You don't believe me, you will see for yourself. I need peace to rest properly. I need peace to rest properly. I need peace.